also have new details tonight on an incident in East Providence that was first breaking at noon. And we first told you it started with abuse allegations, and when officers got to the home, it was on fire, and then a man just jumped out the window. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Bright joins us from the mobile newsroom with more from East Providence Police. The man police believe set the house on fire was still here at the scene when officers arrived. Police saw him jump out of the second story window and land in the bushes. A dramatic escape from a burning house on Apulia Street in East Providence. Police say the man inside the house initially refused to come out, but eventually jumped out the bedroom window. The extent of his injuries, unknown. He's been transported by rescue for precautionary reasons. The fire Tuesday morning began after a domestic situation. Police say a woman who lives in the house came to the police department saying she was abused. When officers came to investigate, they were surprised to see smoke coming from the house. When they got here, they, they saw saw that the house was on fire, uh, somebody was in the house, uh, they were able to get that suspect out of the house, he is a suspect at this time. A suspect for both arson and assault, but police haven't made an arrest yet. They're still working to confirm the victim's story and determine what started the fire. Police aren't saying much about the assault or the relationship between the victim and suspect. If uh, the allegations are true, then he'll be placed under, under arrest and uh, we'll also investigate how the, the, uh, the cause of the house fire and if he has part to do with that, then he'll be charged accordingly. Firefighters used an axe and saw to cut open the roof to check for fire. They put out the fire quickly, but the house is badly damaged. I would say about 25% of the interior of the home was damaged by fire, and then maybe another 60% uh, damaged by, uh, by water uh, from fighting the fire. The fire marshal says three to four residents are now displaced. Where they're going to live now is unclear. The house will eventually be boarded up. In East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.